All right. Okay. I am doing some, I guess, spring cleaning, though it's winter time. And if you're on the East Coast, it is real winter with all that beautiful snow I just saw on the news. Well, it is going to be 68 today, I believe, in my neck of the woods. I know, I know, I want it to be so cold, but it is what it is. Right now, I'm hot, I'm sweating, and it's not even 12 o'clock. Okay, it might be a little bit of that pre-menopause, you know, like hot sweats going on right now. But anyway, besides all that, okay, we are still at home, right? And a lot of us, despite the pandemic, home is our happy place. Like home is my happy place. So for all of you who can't get out or don't want to get out, but if you want to enjoy some crafting and you want some junk in and thrift in brought right to your doorsteps, this collection might be for you. If you are a junk journaler, if you love to alter art, if if you love to glue book, which recently I've gotten into glue booking, I actually did a December daily glue book. I'm almost finished with it. But anyway, um, you might you might like this junkin thrifting curated kit. Now here's the thing. I will have more of these available. But I'm going to walk you all through this particular kit because future kits will, um, they'll vary, but there are some standard items that will be in all of my kits like this, though some of those standard items may vary as well. Okay, to get started, the price. The price is $32.50. Priority shipped, USA only, PayPal only, and please pay promptly and these kits are as is no refunds no returns as is um thrifted stuff junk and stuff some stuff may be may be new but a lot of these items are found they're rescued they're thrifted and they have age they've been used and i do have doggies so i'm a pet loving home a pet loving person so do keep that in mind but no smoking at all whatsoever okay let's get started with the standard items that come included in this kit and please do check the description box for additional information and my email address is biblescraps at yahoo.com and I'll have it on the screen right now as well as in the description box. Okay, these box thrifted curated shipped right to your door boxes are really fun. I have a lot of stuff you guys. I junk and I thrift a lot and sometimes I get overwhelmed and I'll just redonate stuff back to the thrift store. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed, it ends up in the garbage can. <laughs> so I decided, you know, I'll never use all this stuff. One day I would love to have a junk in store, but that's all in my mind, right? But I can still have a store and I can still share these items. Thank God for the postal service. Okay, standard in each box. And I don't know how many boxes I'll end up having and the boxes will change in the future. But starting off, a standard magazine in each box that will vary will be an ideals friendship. Now, some of these have dates and this one. And where, where's my glasses? I don't think I found a date for this one, but the price is $5.95. Now, these ideals books, you can use, well, it's filled with beautiful imagery so you can use like look at that oh fall is my favorite season i took a walk yesterday and i'm like why do it look different and that's because the city came and swept up all the leaves <laughs> so fall is yes it's over well, I but ran out of memory um i think i finished this magazine but also included and i love the antiques magazine now, this is a vintage magazine from 1968. The cool thing about it is it's filled with antique images. And there is so much you can do with all of these, even these. 
Now, everything is pretty much black and white, but don't be intimidated by black and white because you can color in your designs if you so desire. Now, I love the clocks and I love the chairs, but look at these. Oh my goodness, you could do so much. When you look at these images, think in terms of die cuts. Think ephemera. I have some prior tutorials on like this is a beautiful chair oh my goodness if I knew where it was do I have time do you guys remember the mood cards I shared a couple of months ago do I have time to share one if I knew where it was if I knew where it was because I created a beautiful a beautiful mood card using a chair that I got from one of these antique magazines look at that chair Love the cabinets. Oh, see, look. Oh, and these are big. These are big. So you have to think in terms of die cuts and ephemera. But you, perfect for so your glue I book. found it. Ah, look at this, you guys. This mood card. Do I have the date? I didn't put the date. Oh, I used a vintage recipe card, which there is a bundle of these included in this box. And you can make something similar. But look at that chair. That's an antique chair or a picture of it that came from the antique magazine. And look what I created. <laughs> I have this beautiful vintage African-American woman sitting on that chair. <laughs> Love my mood cards. And back to this magazine because that segment of video didn't film. This magazine, it's filled with a lot of poetry stories and of course beautiful images and i just saw a recipe look how pretty that is so pretty so so so, so what's pretty. also standard is a fashion doll magazine i don't know what year this one is dated 1998 i'm putting thought into these boxes but not a whole lot of thought i just have an excess amount of stuff so i want to get rid of stuff at the same time I want to share, share these things with you all. Oh, look at here. Oh, these are nice. Ooh, <laughs> you know what? I feel tempted to want to take this magazine out and switch it with another magazine. <laughs> and I might do that. I might do that. <laughs> Keep in mind, <laughs> the, there are standard items in the box, but... Some items, like the magazines, you'll get an antique magazine, a fashion doll magazine, but the the month will vary. Oh, yeah, I got to keep this one. I'm sorry, you guys. Trading cards, <laughs> because these can be cut out individually, and that becomes ephemera. Yes, so I'm going to switch out this one. As a matter of fact, this is just a sample, a sample box. Anyway, okay, that's fun. I'll put that right there. Another magazine that I love is the China Decorator. This one is 1973. And look, the cover itself can be used as scrapbooking paper. It can be used as ephemera. Now these pages, I like, they feel kind of waxy and you hear the sound. But, you know, you can take this and you could actually color this in yourself. So I like, oh, look how pretty this is. Look how pretty. Look at the rooster. Once again, a lot of black and white, but some images are color, but perfect for glue booking. Okay, also in this kit is, um, I guess this is a pattern. Now, this is a big sheet of paper or big pattern. I won't be able to open it up in its fullness, but, and it's still folded. Now, I, I have, you'll see, actually, let me show it here. This is an extra large sewing pattern, and you will get one of these in the box. And it also has... A similar size pattern now a lot of you are really creative I myself made a journal I never shared it but I made a journal 
with one of these. And if you cut it the right way, if you cut it the right way, you could make it into a folded book. I haven't seen anybody on um, online do that yet, but you get one and it is vintage. This one... I thought these had the date. Okay, 1979. Now, here's the thing about the sewing patterns. Well, the whole box is as is. You might, you may or may not get a completed sewing pattern. I have not, out of the large ones, I know for a fact, I haven't pulled anything out. So it may be completed, but don't buy the box hoping for a completed pattern because I don't sew and I don't know what's complete and what's needed. I just, I like it. And I think a lot of you may appreciate this too, especially the larger size envelopes. What I have done to a lot of my larger envelopes is cut it down in half. And if you ever purchased one of my junk journaling junk kits off my, from my Etsy store, it came in a in a um in one of these envelopes that was cut down. You could do so much with it. But back to this, if you cut it the right way, and this is 1962, the pattern will vary. You can create a a couple journals, perhaps. Okay, so that's standard. That's standard. And then you get one of these. Now this one is by Walter Foster. I do have these art books by another artist, but you will get one of these. Look at that price, $2. You cannot beat this kit. If you go online and look, try to buy one of these. Um, a couple years ago, I checked the price. It can be pretty pricey. If you've never seen one of these, oh, you'll love it. I don't know how to draw. I don't know how to paint. <laughs> if you want to perhaps learn, I guess you could follow along. But look, every page is similar in that the artist works in blocks. What I've done in the past is cut out, well, first decide what, what side I want to use. Like, look how pretty that is. This can be a page in a journal. Visualize myself walking down this path here. But if you decide to use this side, you can cut these in, in sections and create tags. I've done that before. Ah, and you get one of these books. Now, I don't know which one you'll end up getting, but you'll get one. <laughs> okay, and then you get some music sheets. Now, these are music books. you'll get but you'll get at least three aren't these fun now this is a thicker book here look at that so you'll get at least three more than likely you'll probably you'll probably get more so 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 fun okay and then what's also standard is a bundle of junk paper card supplies I'm not going to go through all of this, but there's vintage envelopes in here, paper bags. Some things will vary. There's vintage playing cards, library cards, Rolodex. Got some, I love these, watermelon recipes. Those are from the early 90s, I believe. Um, Tickets. Just a whole lot of different items that you can journal on. Of course, add them to your, your junk journals. And then you'll get a bundle of upholstery fabric. That will vary. I don't know how many pieces, but it'll be at least five pieces. And you get an idea here. This is a 1970s, I think, cross-stitch piece. So if you do cross-stitch, you can cross-stitch that owl there. And the back has paper on some of these. And if you soak it in water or mist it, the paper comes right off. So 
So you'll probably get at least five pieces or more. This is a larger piece. This is really pretty here. Okay, and then there's also three vintage patterns. Now, once again, concerning the patterns, they may or may not be complete. Like this one here, I can tell it's thin. The only thing that comes is this sheet here, which you can do a lot with the envelope and that sheet. This one I can tell has tissue in it. I don't know if it's complete. This one has tissue in it, but it don't look like it has that other sheet in it. So obviously some are not complete, but you can do a lot with the envelope, make them into tags, cut out and the images and make paper dolls or make pockets or what crafters are doing too is using the, the envelopes to create covers for journals. Okay, so these are the standard items. Oh, I'm not done with standard. Because you get a bundle of recipe cards. At least 10 recipe cards. And for this particular type, you'll get different categories. Meaning you won't get all 10 from the meat category. You'll get different ones. Like, look how cute that is. That chicken is so cute. That comes from the salad. This one, um, probably the sweets, casseroles. So you'll get at least 10, but more than likely, you'll get more. And then for this particular bundle, there's this type of recipe card. And I don't know what okay, year. And then this you one. get a bundle of these coasters. These are so cool. Um, the style will vary or the image may vary, but I love the quality of this. You could actually add the, the gesso to it and alter these, or you can use them as paper, though it's not paper. You hear that? And you can die cut images out. So you get a bundle of that, and then you get a bundle of these envelopes, these are cool. I hadn't seen these before. So they're windows. You got two windows there. But look how this one down here flaps like that. And then you have this one that flaps. So I thought these were cool. These were different. So you get a bundle of those. And then you get a whole pack. These are one of my favorite score sheets from Vintage Board Games. This one is 19, 1988. You get a whole bundle. I have used these to make pockets, to make envelopes, of course, using dies. And you could use them as journaling spots too. I've cut these out to make tags. Well, you get a whole bundle. And then, look at here. <laughs> 1964, this is standard. In each box, you get a vintage square dancing magazine. How fun is this? <laughs> okay, let's flip through. Some of you guys, I don't know. Is square dancing still popular? <laughs> oh, look at here. Look at that pretty dress here. But there's different dance techniques or written um, dance, like right here. It tells you how to dance. <laughs> One and three lead to the right. Circle up four and hang. Oh, that's a poem. <laughs> but I thought this magazine was super cool. Look at the images there. Oh, right here. Pictures on how to, how to square dance. Now for the bundle you see here, I will sell it. But keep in mind, I'm going to switch out that Barbie magazine. For this bundle, I am throwing in these extra items, and the extra items will vary. I'm gonna put in this music music book, this Victorian or Victoria magazine, perfect for glue booking, 1993. This cross stitch magazine. Then look, Princess Diana poster, 1998. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm going to throw in what I call odd and in type stuff, though it's really not odd and in. But once again, this type of stuff will vary. And then this is thrifted here. And I made my sister a journal out of this paper here. And I love how it holds up. I just folded it, bound it, and made her a journal. So you get a bundle of that. This box comes with this wallpaper here. And then a pack of doilies. Okay, and that's going to do it for, for this thrifted, junk, and curated box. I will sell what you see here. Keep in mind, though, I'm going to switch out the Barbie magazine, the fashion doll magazine for another magazine. <laughs> but um, everything else, what you see is what you will get. If you are interested, email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com. If you are interested in a future box, very similar to this, but once again, keep in mind, some things will vary especially the extra goodies that I throw in will vary. I might throw in um, additional magazines. It might be newspaper, um, but I'm going to stuff the box. By the way, it comes in a priority medium box, and I am going to stuff this with as much stuff as possible, including, well, I might put in some flowers, I just need to downsize. So um, I need to get rid of stuff. And I hate the thought of throwing things out. I hate the thought. And this has happened many times before. I normally keep a, a running giveaway box or um, thrifted to donate back to the store box in my front yard on my porch. But we've been getting rain. And it's happened several times that I've had to throw that type of stuff away because it's gotten wet. So anyway, what you will get will be usable. It will be nice, thrifted, junkin, however. So if you're interested, email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com, 3250, priority shipped, um, PayPal only, USA only. Keep in mind, it is a as-is purchase. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. All right, you guys. I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.